Hello there and welcome to Walking Talking Gardeners and um, what I want to show you today is the problem that we've got on this Brugmansia. This is Brugmansia scaviolens and it's the pink flowering one and at this time of year we're uh, near the October this should have at least some bud if not in flower and as you can see there's no bud or flower on it and uh, if you look a bit closer mm. you'll see there is something a little bit wrong with this. Uh, you see it's the way these very good, is it? no, you see the way these uh, these shoots. You know, you, you you've got some unusual curling. sort of yeah, curly. You know, and and if you touch them, it's, it's quite hard and brittle, and that will snap. But it snaps really easy. Now, okay, so it's got a disease. It's quite clear it's got a disease, and uh, you do see more of this nowadays because the, the problem with this plant is that it's um it's propagated endlessly in huge quantities and sold really cheaply. Uh, you know, garden centres, supermarkets, and the, the problem is it has uh, an infection, and where it's propagated uh, on the blades, that is transferred and transferred and transferred. So we have this. So this is a problem you see more and more. Um, so what is it? What is the problem, and how can you deal with it? Well, look at first we've got to recognise it. So you've got this this weird kind of curved growth, got holes in the leaf, but. The leaves themselves, you know, apart from this sort of, you know, you could argue it's damaged, it, it, it's, it's just quite healthy, you know, it's, it's in a good position, it gets plenty of water, it gets plenty of nutrition, so it's not a problem with uh, with the size of it, it's not a problem with, with uh, how it's been uh, cultured. What it has is it has a bacterial infection. Now that bacterial infection is commonly known as uh, either bacterial leaf gall or leafy gall depending you know where you're from um, and because it's a bacteria you can't treat this so um, although it's here and it's fine we don't have it on the other plants but this plant is susceptible and if we did have other brugmanses and possibly daturas it's possible biting insects you know like aphids could, mm. could take some infected sap mm. pass it on from plant to plant so this is the problem it's leafy gall. You can see it's a, it's a you know, this all gall. It's a little bit like um, uh, fasciation. You know, mm. you get this sort of like bizarre kind of growth. Yeah, you know, I like mean, you can see straight away it's just not growing right. There's something very wrong with the way the leaves are growing. In a way, it's holding itself. It, it's quite stunted as well, isn't it? So yeah. it's always a, it's not vigorous. It should be enormous uh, literature now, but it's uh, it's struggled, hasn't it? So yeah, it's struggled. Um, I think the uh, yeah the bacteria itself, if I'm correct in remembering, is Rhodococcus uh, fascium. Um, what I do is I just check the spelling, pronunciation of that, and I put that at the bottom of the thing. Mm. Um, but again, you can't treat it, you can't spray for it. So what are you going to do with it? You're going to have to lift it, burn it, get rid of it, burn get it, rid, destroy. It. You know, although it, can it, you plant another one back in that same space, or would it, <sighs> is the infection in the soil now? I, I think just to be on the safe side, I wouldn't plant in the same place. No. But certainly, certainly not. I'll plant a different plant in the same place, but yeah. I certainly wouldn't plant a Datura or a no. Brugmansia. Not so, a bit related just yeah. yet. I'm going to so, give it a few years, just let it uh, Yeah, so recognise recognize yeah. the signs, you know. It's yeah. sort of weird, oh, it's weird, hard, it? it's horrible. gross, snappy yeah. blood. And, uh, you know, if you see it, take it out, throw it away. You can't spray for it. No. Uh, and on that sad note, <laughs> thank you for watching. But at least you know, if you recognise it, you'll know what the problem is and what you can do. Mm. And um, good luck with your plants. And uh, see you again on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.